brand new collection devices. Well, um, it's been two weeks, so we're in the same month and same camera back again. I don't know about the main road, I never checked on that one, but uh, definitely on Murawai Road, yet again in the exact same spot, um, about 500 metres away from an open road area when you're just leaving the rural um, or the residential area going into the rural area, that's where they park. Um, if, even if you're doing 50k an hour and you take your foot off the accelerator, if you go down the hill approaching this camera, you will accelerate. So unless you're physically braking to avoid getting clipped, which could in turn cause an accident more than prevent one, um, you know, to avoid being pinged some money. You know, remember these these um, infringement notices or penalty charge notices that they send you, um, they're only an offer to contract. Um, in New Zealand law, New Zealand Standard Banking Practices, Section 1.1b states that you as the customer and that we, us and our, as the creditor or the bank. Um, an offer to contract, i.e. a penalty charge notice, is simply calling, um, well it's addressed to your capitus diminutio maxima or your straw man or your capitalised name, the same name that's on the driver's licence, that you as a human being acted through your straw man to get a licence to be raped and pillaged by the government. Because you have a driver's licence, you have to register your vehicle. So therefore you're signing over title ownership of your vehicle to the government. You don't own your car, you don't own your children, you don't own your dog, you don't own your land. Okay? So, anyway. And, and in fact, in New Zealand, we're registered as land. Um, my birth printout, or my born documents, relating to the natural person states that um, I'm born, the birth certificate is all about uh, corporate, so uh, you can look into that, I highly recommend Billy Turner in New Zealand for all of that sort of stuff, he goes right into it, and also getting yourself a copy of Butterworth's um, New Zealand Law Dictionary, it's great to actually understand the language of legalese instead of English, that they um, try and trick you into thinking that they're speaking. So anyway, here I am, coming into um, my turn off here. This is Highway 16, going up to Helensville. Now I'm going to turn off into a 50k area. You will see that I'm doing, being a good boy, and I'm doing about 40k an hour here. So, um, yeah, you make up your mind. All of these cars are coming along. They're all going to toot. So yeah, basically, police officers in New Zealand don't seem to realise what they're doing either. I mean, they're just as foolish as the rest of us. Um, you know, they're, they're serving two masters. They're, they're basically, they're um, upholding an oath to a queen to uphold common law. Um, doesn't say anything about statutes in the New Zealand Policing Act 2008, Section 22, which is where you'll find their oath. And here we have scumbag back again for a second run so I'm gonna pull over and film this fucker because I can and um, so they will uphold an oath to the Queen to uphold that and then they will um, also be working for the Crown Corporation which has been registered in the uh, District of Columbia in Washington which is part of the Vatican and uh, London, London's city. Um, they will, um, yeah, then they'll offer you this ticket. They'll, uh, on the infringement notice, it'll say that um, they, the uh, alleged allegation will be that they claim that you drove a motor vehicle, blah, 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 blah. Well, again, there's that you. They're not stating that, for my instance, my capitus diminutio maxima, they didn't state that Mark Donald Eric Keane drove a motor vehicle exceeding whatever they state that you so you've got to get back to them in, within three days you've got to know who you are and who you represent and um, yeah you've, you've got to really let them know that you're not up for it um, there are uh, different various ways of doing it I try challenging it in court but I mean I'm a beneficiary I'm screwed I have to use my benefit to survive in this world unfortunately so um, even if I completely and utterly ignore any speed camera that comes to me, it just goes ahead and gets paid. 
so it's not really a deterrent. It doesn't slow me down at all. My children and staying alive for them is what deters me from speeding these days. Um, these bully boy morons um, don't really do anything for me. They're just a bunch of assholes. Um, but again, yeah, they don't realise. I mean, I've, I've walked into police stations and I've asked them if they know the difference between lawful and legal. They don't. Um, you know, the difference is lawful pertains to the, the three dimension, the, the, the human being, the living flesh and blood. Lawful pertains to natural law or common law. Uh, legal is strictly for commerce. It's maritime, admiralty law. It's solely for the law of the sea. It has nothing to do with the human being. You walk into that courtroom and say you're that name, that's it. You're the meat stick for that piece of paper. So, I highly recommend Kate of Gaia or anything to do with her. But as you can see, this dick fuck here is going to be parked here for an, an, a, a, quite a while. He'll be here for another seven hours. Um, the time that they clicked me, uh, or the two times they clicked me in four days, they were parked here um, over Christmas. Um, two days before Christmas and two days after Christmas, they clicked me here um, in 2011. Um, on the first one that he clicked me, it was one of over 70 tickets that they issued. I know this because I have all the evidence that they sent me to prove their claim. Um, and um, yeah, they, so that it's purely revenue. It's got nothing to do with slowing down anyone. It's got nothing to do with anything else. That doorknob in there is on a big wage that the voluntary slave citizens of New Zealand are paying for. And um, you know, there's, there's a bit of a change going on in the world and you know you just need to even listen to Russell Brand to see what these cock fucks are up to so yeah up yours mate you'll be done I just gave a few hand signals there to slow people down and you know what that's done? That's saved causing an accident because that huge bus going around the corner saw that camera and he put his brakes on and that huge row of traffic that you just saw straight after the bus were all slowing down a wee bit too quick. So um, and again, some morons out there. Um, Good on you New Zealand for police for uh, keeping the roads safer. Um, it's good to see that you can mobilise as much money as you can out of the, the, uh, the poor and the impoverished. And, um, good job on you for um, committing fraud every day of your life. For asking other people to commit fraud. Um, if you don't believe me, you know, think of it this way. Um, can a, a, a human being exist without a birth certificate? Obviously the answer is yes. Okay, so next question. Let's flip that table. Can that birth certificate exist without the human being to represent it? And we all know the answer to that one. Not on your fucking life, buddy. So, um, it, it's real simple. You know, learn your capacities. Know who you are. Know that you're a human being. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't be a citizen. Don't use identity. Identity is literally the ID of an entity. It is not a human being. Citizens of New Zealand are not human beings. They are an artificial person. Or a, 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 it's actually a citizen. It's a political um, a representation, I believe, of um, the artificial person. So, um, yeah. A, again, in New Zealand Law Interpretation Act 1999, Section 29, clearly states that a person is one of three things in New Zealand. That is, an artificial person is a corporation sold. 
Okay, and, oh, and by the way, they'll, they'll word it in such a way that it says include. Now, using includes as the exclusionary rule, meaning that anything that is not included, therefore, is excluded. So, they state that a person includes a corporation soul, an unincorporated body, or a body corporate. So, I don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately and thought, fuck, you're a really handsome looking corporation soul, or body corporate, or corporation. But, uh, I, I usually look and just, damn, that's a, one ugly son of a bitch. But, um, you guys can judge. Have a good day, guys. I'm about to get my, um, food to my children. I'm just about to head in to my doorway. We'll just go this way. So, yeah. You guys make your own decisions. It's another beautiful day in sunny Burbank, California. No, I'm just kidding. New Zealand. Gosh, look at that beautiful cloud-filled chemtrail fucking sky out there. And for the use with words, welcome to the fabulously fluoridated capital of New Zealand where everybody has a part-time job as an incandescent light bulb. Thanks to Fukushima. See you guys.